welcome back to Why Not with Wynette. I am Jay Wynette, the best friend that everyone deserves. And this week, I'm here with my best friend, <laughs> Angie Nicole. And this week, in honor of everything that has been accomplished in the last week, I decided that I wanted to bring on my black, beautiful best friend. And we're going to bring some black girl magic because we are black girls and we are magical. And I cannot wait <laughs> to try this. Perfect. Recommended. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So, <laughs> we have the Black Girl Magic Wine this week by the McBride Sisters. Now, if you know anything about anything when it comes to black wine drinking, you should know that the McBride Sisters are the largest black-owned wine company in the United States. Mm -hmm. And so, I am so excited to try this, literally because two black women owning the largest black owned wine company in the country and they just dropped their newest wines black girl magic and riesling and red blend a little something for everybody like i like white wine but i can't love y'all i in my time off i have been trying some good red wine so i'll be reviewing those too but they also have a red blend so i'm so 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 excited to try both of these and we're gonna get started okay don't want to hold you all up too long so which one should we try first angelique yeah. I'd say definitely go with the white. Y'all, I'm so fucking damn. Did that get on you? A little bit, but I'm more mad about the glass. What the fuck? You know what? This is why I'll, I'm always prepared. Give me a second. Oh, with the gold brown. It's okay. I don't know how that happened, but it happened. And we finna move forward because... A few moments later. Sorry for the little mishap. We got some new wine glasses. Angelique, if you could tell us about the reasoning, kind of what, you know, the background of it and maybe what kind of flavors we should be expecting in this specific reason? This is from the McBride Sisters collection. So, uh, Black Girl Magic is more than just a phrase. It's a feeling, a look, a mood, and a taste. The Black Girl Magic collection is a personal ode to our culture and story. I love um, that. So, just a brief description of the taste. Um, our recently has notes of apricot, honey, and jazz on the nose that transition into a mouth-watering sweet and sour medley of mm -hmm. guava, pineapple, and citrus, which is personally some of my favorite flavors. Really? So yeah, I'm interested in this one. Thank you kindly. I'm so excited to try that. And the alcohol level is 12.5, which is pretty decent. Pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> pretty, good. <laughs> pretty decent. We can get a little mm, 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 lit on this. <laughs> All right, so let's get it cracking. Oh, and it's twist up. The McBride sisters, y'all know what y'all doing. Y'all came in. You know what you're doing with this one. All right. So here we are. This is the reason. I can't lie, y'all. I'm still a little hot about my wine glass. But it's all right. We're going to pray about it. We're going to sleep on it. Ponder a little bit. Yeah. Hold on, I gave you a little bit longer. Man, I'm gonna say 12.5. Yeah. 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 <laughs> mm -hmm. All right, so just upon initial kind of look and feel, buoyancy is great. Um, I love the color, honestly. It looks like it's gonna be really smooth. Mm -hmm. I'm very excited to try this. Angelique, thank you for suggesting we try this one first. Um, let me put this Ooh, back in on. here. I can definitely. What so kind of notes are you getting? Is, I can definitely sense a little citrus in it. Okay. And the apricot as well. I'm getting that as well. Very excited to try this. So here we are. So Cheers. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh 
thoughts? Hmm. <laughs> well, I can definitely taste the um, everything they listed. And the little jasmine on the nose. I know you see me. Yeah, I felt it. So yeah, it's a um, pretty smooth taste. I feel like the 12.5 definitely is going to sneak up on you. But um, for the most part, it's a nice sweet wine. Um, not very sweet. It has like a little... Little touch of it's a mature wine yeah it's a for, mature sweet yes there you go mm -hmm. it's a mature sweet wine mm -hmm. so mm, for my sweet wine drinkers that like to uh, 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 up their palates yeah. it's a good one all right so we're gonna move on to our red wine we're gonna switch out our glasses here to our red wine glasses and with this wine this is a red blend i've noticed you guys i have been Kind of liking the red blends I've recently been trying, and I hope, I'm sure I will, but I really hope that I'll like this one as well. Of course, the same concept because it is the same um, series from their collection about Black Girl Magic. Everything that they said just is so true. It's the epitome of, I think, what it means to be a Black woman, mm -hmm. and I love that because protect your Black women. Okay. They said that their red blend is a smooth, voluptuous, and full-bodied wine with flavors of cherry, plum, cedar, and vanilla. And I'm honestly very excited because a lot of the red blends that I've recently been trying have that kind of like mature kind of taste to it, if you will. Mm -hmm. So I'm ecstatic to taste this one as well. Too, it's different. I'm not really a big, huge vanilla fan, so I'm ready to see what this one to taste like. Really? Mm -hmm. I didn't know that. I love vanilla, honestly. Anything is vanilla, vanilla bean, <laughs> especially ice cream. Mm. I've never <laughs> had like a vanilla wine though. That's what. Yeah, like, that's what's kind of mm -hmm. mm, troubling you. I yeah, like I'm it. ready to see what it's gonna hit like. Okay. Here we go. I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna disappoint. I'm gonna tell y'all this one. I already know it's coming with some pressure. Okay, period. Um, I'm gonna tell y'all though, so you all know I have been on this um, journey to expand my palette. I'm gonna tell y'all a little bit while I'm trying to open this wine bottle. But um, on that journey, I have been bringing my best friend along and she has, I think, been enjoying the ride as well. Like I haven't really posted a video, a special wine video in almost two months which is kind of crazy to me when I think about it, but I kind of took a hiatus to kind of live my life for a few months. And along that journey, we have been drinking some pretty great wines. Like I can say that for That's sure. That's what I like. We have like two bottles a week, so don't judge us. Literally, <laughs> so. a new bottle each week kind of feel. So seriously, we have been having the best time of our lives and we've been trying to listen to Yes, yeah, so I'm excited to see um your reviews in the future they're gonna come up because when i say we've been like yeah our palette has definitely expanded expanded in the past sure. month or two yeah For so sure. oh i love that sound ah i'm sorry like i just love wine you guys like in the she does. in the months i've been gone i have just become a wine kind of store like i love 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 wine ah. all right so um, let's see if this wine can pull me to the red wine drinker side because I have stayed on the white side for a minute, but I can't lie, I've had a few good red wines that have kind of been pulling me. I'm kind of like, mm, I'm kind of iffy right now. Like, I can't lie, I really like red wine a little bit now. Okay, um, let's, let's, let's taste. Oh, color already giving me everything I need. Whew. Mm, mm, mm. <sighs> Ready? I love the sound. Yeah, it's like, that's... Uh. <laughs> that's <Girl. laughs> Okay, at the long hard day, we were working with me, you need a little glass of wine. I'm telling you. Yeah. I'm telling you. Okay, guys, so wow. Um buoyancy is a lot more buoyant than the last one. This one seemed like it's a little bit more thicker of a wine, mm -hmm. just kind of just on initial um 
observation I'm getting. I don't know. I'm kind of thinking about picking up on the cedar, I think. I don't know why. It's not a really distinct smell that I can familiarize myself with, but I think that's what I'm getting. I don't know Maybe why. a little bit of plum. Yeah. I was just going to yeah. say that. I'm, I'm hitting a bit of plum. Okay. And was it, did you say it was cherry? Yeah. I'm sensing a little bit of cherry. And just because I don't really, like, drink vanilla and wines, I might be picking up on that. Oh, y'all know it's gonna be a little bit better than mine because I'm over here just plum and cedar, but <laughs> okay, okay. But no, we gonna see. All right, so here's to it. Cheers. I definitely taste the cedar. I'm getting the vanilla. Um, don't know if I mentioned before, this wine is 13.5% um, and most red wines are a little bit more higher in alcohol content just because they ferment longer than the white wine. So that's kind of, you know, what you can expect to drink with a red wine. That's why they're almost always a little bit more, I'm going to say bitter to the taste um, and even like kind of... You know, they're a lot drier. Mm -hmm. Red wines are a lot drier because they take longer to ferment. Mm -hmm. However, um, in concerns to this red wine, I'm going to say um, it hasn't steered me on the red side, but um, it's a decent red wine. I actually kind of enjoy it only because my palate is expanding, so I'm picking up on settings where I would enjoy this wine. I think that's another important thing. Um, especially when you're drinking red wine and you're trying to grow your taste buds and your palate into a more mature palate, you have to be cautious of drinking and eating certain things um, in the wrong settings because it can yeah. turn you off to um, the thing that you're consuming. However, this wine, I can definitely taste the hints of cedar and vanilla. Not really getting much fruit here, but that's to be expected with a red wine. Um, I think this wine would go great with um, some like pasta or maybe even a nice like fish. Um, I think that this is a wine you could enjoy. I will drink this wine like by itself, but I I'm would just be. Uh oh, <laughs> I would just be a little cautious if you're not really a red wine drinker. I wouldn't start off with this wine as your beginner red wine. I actually like it, you know what I'm saying, when it comes down to it. But that's because uh, we definitely spent our palate. Definitely. Two, three months ago, I would not have liked this. But I'm um, uh, a little bit. Mm, it does. It is a little like a little much. But I honestly say that. I can definitely taste the cedar. My first sip, I was like, okay, I definitely taste the cedar. Um, it, it's a nice dry. It's not like too bitter. Yes. Um, yeah, so I think it would go very well with It needs something to eat with steak. Ooh! Or see, chicken. I'm on the wrong side, y'all. That's what well, it is. You need meat. some red meat with yeah, this. Yeah, you need some red meat with Oh, my God, yes. I feel like that would bounce out. Scratch what I said. No, no, you're very valid because I was thinking, I was like, yeah. I was thinking oh my a, God. a pasta too, like a chicken linguine or something. Oh. A couple of shrimp, you know. I can definitely see this wine going with that. Yes, but no, when you said, oh my God, y'all, a medium well, well steak with some garlic mashed potatoes and asparagus, girl. Ooh! Throw it that out. Mmm. Mm -mm. Throw it on that. Yes. Mm. Yes, but I'm definitely taking that <laughs> one, so. I wish they sold it like in restaurants now that I'm thinking about it. Hold on, place. because I kind of need it. Okay, because no, but seriously, y'all, like this is one of those wines, but it's it's really good to me. Mm -hmm. Um, and, and like you said, it's not bitter. Like you know, sometimes you drink a red wine, it's like 
Mm, as soon as you drink it, like, no, it's smooth. It's really smooth. It's just not fruity at all. So get that out of your head. Don't think it's going to be fruity. The cherry and the plum is only in the scent because it's not fruity at all. But it's really good. It's a really good mm -hmm. red wine. I really enjoy it. But <laughs> it is time to rate these wines. And I want to start off with the red blend just because I think I know where we're going to go with the Riesling. But, um, Angelique, I want to know. What would you give this on a scale of one to ten? How many WAP stars would you give it? So since I don't eat much red meat, mm -hmm. um, but I do eat a lot of chicken with gluten and pastas. Okay. So I would rate this a solid eight and a half. That's yes. my rating too. I'm going to give it an 8.5 as well. 8 out of 5, correction, 8.5 WAP, Wap stars. stars, okay, out of 10. Wow, that was really good. We're here. We're, we're here. always here, but we were it's here. We even know, like, honestly, because, like, no, seriously. I wouldn't say rare wines are my favorite, but they're definitely. They're a strong contender. I'm a telling you. A strong contender. And that one right there has a, a perfect alcohol percentage. Yes. You can smell and taste all the vibrations in it. Like Ooh, the cedar, I, I knew like the cedar. Mm, I knew the cedar was going to like, you know, because I smelled it a little bit. But I didn't know it was going to hit like that. But it gave me a, a very crisp taste in my mouth. I'm like, I want a steak now. Yeah. And I don't even eat red meat. So, Same. We over here thinking about steak. Yeah. Yeah. Eight point five stars. I'm gonna give it eight point five as well. Okay. That's what I swear that's what I was thinking as well. Okay. okay, so boom. Because you're my guest, I'm gonna let you break this one first as well. Okay. Um, the reasoning, we are white wine drinkers, so uh it was I am gonna be quiet. What 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 would you give it? What would you give it? I'm sorry, I'm gonna give it one. We need to cleanse our palate and some over, but you know. This one and it's and then you know what? It now that I'm thinking about it, we didn't even have to cleanse our palate. These do not have a aftertaste at all. Mm -mm. They're great. Oh my gosh. Whew. That's a solid contender as well. Like, I'm over here thinking, like, what can I rate this without sounding cliche? And no. It a 10 no. Actually, because hold on. I'm like, hold on. Let me say it again. Black Girl Magic just got to, like, a guaranteed customer for. I'm ready for I'm ready for the next collection at this point. Like, how y'all gonna top this? Because it's no to make bright sisters. Listen, ladies, you did your thing. Okay, what are you gonna give? What are you gonna give it? Okay, be you. I, it I, 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 I'm very tough at judging. Like when I say I, I factor everything in from the presentation and everything, and like it's really nice. I like the presentation. Like black and gold gives you very much elegant, elegant. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Femininity, like you know, upscale. Yes. Black woman, like mm. not even upscale black woman, just any black woman. You know what I'm saying? Like everyone deserves that piece of luxury, and black and gold mm -hmm. is definitely luxury. So, presentation, taste, smell, I would definitely. Uh, I'm gonna go with nine and a half. Wow. I'm gonna give it a ten. I'm gonna be honest. Um, I'm gonna tell you why. This is why I'm giving it a ten. Um, just as she, you know, is speaking, you know, on the attributes of the wine, the total thing that encompasses, let me tell you, it's hard to find a good, smooth, kind of sweet wine that's not Moscato. And that's mm -hmm. a white blend. Honestly, you guys, I would say I mean, this. 10 out of 10, 10, watch 10 is 10 is 10 is good. Like 10 is great, but I'm 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 real tough at judging, but But I love it. No, I love it. Yes, that's like 9.5 is great. Like, I would probably what? never give another wine. I've only given one other wine, I think a 10. Only one, I think. If I'm not mistaken, maybe two. But and that's big in itself, Wap Stars. And that's so big, what? I don't, I don't even. So you want to go with 9.5, Wap Stars. I'm going to go with 9.5, and that's and like. And I'm going to get another other point five because I really think they go. deserve it. The 10 out of 10 Wap Stars, for me, this has been a great, great wine. Oh, my God. The Riesling and the Red Blend. Mm. Chef Kiss. Because, wow. Like, they deserve a round of applause because. Oh. 
Matt and his feet. Know. And then for future references, like if you know someone who drinks wine or just want to get off the foot, great birthday, Christmas gifts, surprise, this way. housewarming. Give them a reason. Give them a reason. Housewarming, just anything like, hey, I was thinking about you. This right here would like. Man, if you're trying to get a girl, I'm telling you, show up with this right here and some flowers. Put us out for shorty. Fresh flowers every week in this house, but. <sighs> These two together? Oh. In the bag. Second day. In the bag. Second day. All the bag. So, yeah. I did something. I'm telling you. But, you know, if they're red, you're going to definitely get them the red blend. But if they're not, this is a great. Oh, it's a great wine. Like, <laughs> it but, just got me but excited. What's, but what's like. Like top tier is we've only had one glass and I'm like wow like I can tell you all this about it I didn't have to pour a second and we weren't even that wow this is this wine is so good I forgot that I broke my wine glass <laughs> <laughs> it's so good I really forgot that I broke my new wine glasses like I'm not uh, even tripping out but no seriously I want to thank you so much Angelique for coming on my show and just being a part of my return to YouTube my wine and just showing everybody the meaning of black girl magic and what it means to just be like everything like with those two black women starting this company I had to bring my sister on this is my twin flame my soul sister literally the yin to my yang so it was so appropriate for me to have I'm you here. here. I'm actually honored because oh. y'all, I'm telling you, you heard it here first. This right here, why not with Gwinnett will be a household name in a year. Trust me when I tell you this. Because I'm going to be bringing y'all new wine each week, every Wednesday, 7 p.m. Make sure you're subscribed. Stay tuned. And on that note, I am Jay Gwinnett, the best friend that everyone deserves. Everyone deserves. <laughs> And I will see you guys next Wednesday. Cheers. Salud.